Good morning. My name is Ramosa Avzal. Today I'll be talking about what an active high pass filter is and how to build it. An active high pass filter works akin to a regular RC high pass filter. Both filters allow high frequency waves to pass through. Although the two filters are similar, the active high pass circuit has an op amp included within its circuit design. The inclusion of the op amp adds amplification as well as gain control. The simplest form of an active high pass filter is made by connecting a standard non inverting op amp to a basic RC filter. An active high pass filter bars the low frequency signal and passes high frequency signal. The frequency response of the circuit is the same as a passive filter, except the amplitude of the signal increases with the gain of the amplifier. For a non inverting amplifier circuit, the value of the voltage gain for the filter is a function of the feedback resistor R2 divided by its corresponding input resistor R1 value. Voltage gain is equal to V out divided by V in. Just like the low pass filter, the operation of a high pass active filter can be verified from the frequency gain equation. Unlike a passive high pass filter, an active high pass filter has a maximum cutoff frequency. It is limited by the open loop characteristics or bandwidth of the operational amplifier being used, making them appear as if they are band pass filters with a high frequency cutoff determined by the selection of op amp and gain. Before I begin building the circuit, I'm going to run it through a simulation. The circuit simulated is built using two 10 kilo ohm resistors a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor and a capacitor as well as a basic op amp. In the simulation I will analyze the input shown in the first graph and the output shown in the second. As the simulation runs you can see the frequency increasing and decreasing. The higher the frequency of the input the greater the output voltage is. As the frequency decreases however the output voltage decreases as well. Before I begin building an active high pass filter, I would like to highlight a point. Op amps have an orientation and it is important to make sure you pay attention to what goes where. In order to orient the op amp correctly, we need to look for the indented circle and look at the type of op amp we're using. For my circuit, I used a 741 op amp. I will designate the second leg or the inverting input with a white wire the non-inverting input with an orange wire, the VEE or a negative rail with a green wire, and the VCC or positive rail with a yellow wire. First, I will add a capacitor with a value of one microfarad. After this, I will add a 10 kilo ohm resistor that goes to ground as well as a wire, that connects the capacitor to the non-inverting input of the op amp. Then from the op amp, I will connect the rails to a positive 15 volt input and a negative 15 volt input. After this, I will connect the output to a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor and a 10 kilo ohm resistor that will go to ground. Finally, I will connect the input function generator to the circuit as well as an oscilloscope to compare the input and the outputs of the circuit. As long as the input frequency is high, the oscilloscope reads a similar input and output. But as the frequency decreases, the output generated begins to have a lower amplitude than the input, which was predicted by our simulation. 